Facts are facts, and our warming climate could soon change the landscape of where you live. That's because the hardiness zone of trees and plants could change. If you love to garden, you're familiar with the hardiness zone map because they help determine which plants are most likely to thrive in a region. So, for example, a palm tree would not thrive in a place like New York, right? And a blue yeah. spruce should not be planted in South Florida, though I feel like they try to do this from time to I'm time. Sure. Uh, for a deeper dive to the imminent future of these zones, Dan Lamb, one of our favorites, is back. CEO of the uh, Arbor Day Foundation joins us ag uh, again here. Dan, good to see you. Happy New Year. Let's talk about the USDA and the hardiness zone moving. Are we going to see big shifts here with the changing climate, do you think? Well, it's great to see you. Um, thanks for having me. And so, yeah, the, the U.S. Department of Agriculture for years has created these hardiness zone maps to help guide people based on where they live, which plants and trees are best for their neighborhoods. What we've done is we've created a new futures hardiness zone map with our partners at the Davy Tree Expert Company to look at how are the trends going to change the palette of trees that people can select for their front yards and backyards when they're planting trees. And, uh, it, and so if they enter their zip code, they're, they're, these hardiness zone maps are changing. We are seeing a shift in what kind of trees can survive in different areas. So if I'm wanting to plant a tree this weekend near mm -hmm. my neighborhood, do I need to look at that forecast and change which tree I'm planting right now? Maybe. If, if people go to the new hardiness zone maps at arborday.org backslash map, you enter in your zip code and you can take a look at what does the next 50 years look like based on current trends. And what we're trying to help people do is plant the right tree in the right place. We want to make sure that what you're planting today thrives for years and years ahead. So you want to be careful if you're going to invest the time, if you're going to invest the money, we want to make sure those trees survive for a long time. All right, so what are some of the biggest shifts happening? I mean, should I be planting mangroves in Atlanta, Georgia, no, you know, with the uh, rising water? Well, you, you bring up a great point. People in Detroit and Minneapolis should not start planting palm trees. We are not advising that. But you do want to make sure you're taking a look at native species are always good to be considering, looking at what you're planting today to make sure that it isn't going to be a threat 20, 30, 40 years from now, because it's a lot of time. It's a big investment of space and dollars. And if people are planting trees, they want to make sure those trees survive and thrive and have benefits created for years ahead. Yeah, trees aren't cheap. No, but they are lovely. <laughs> they are. And they are needed. So if we're planting in cities, we have a choice of what we can do. We can look at this map, but let's go to the forest and talk about nature for a second. How is that going to look different over time, because it's not like a forest can say, hey, I'd like to plant this tree now. Yeah, well, it's a great question. So whether it's in cities, front yards and backyards, or these critical forest, forest landscapes around the U.S. and around the world, forest leaders today are absolutely thinking about forests of the future. How are we planting to ensure that, that we are going to have thriving, healthy forests that are bringing those watershed benefits, bringing those ecosystem and biodiversity benefits for years to come. And unfortunately, the climate is changing and it's happening everywhere in our front yards and backyards and in these forest lands. And so as the Arbor Day Foundation, we're always just trying to help make sure people have the best information they can to plant trees and have success. Dan, we have like 30 seconds. What is something that home gardeners should consider when they're planting now so that their trees will survive in the years to come? The one thing we always encourage people to do, of course, visit the website to learn about Right Tree, Right Place, but also get local advice. Talk to your local nursery, talk to a local professional arborist. They, they have great advice for what's working in their communities. Good Dan stuff. Lamb, we appreciate it. Always love having you on the show, my friend. So yeah, knowledgeable great to see you. about all of it. CEO of Arbor Day Foundation. I'm sure we'll see you again here to talk more. There's so much to talk about when it comes to trees. You